Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to discuss an important topic in childbirth, cesarean section, commonly known as AC section. Whether you're an expectant parent or simply curious about childbirth, understanding the C-section procedure is essential. So, let's dive right in. A C-section is a surgical procedure performed to deliver a baby through incisions made in the mother's abdomen and uterus. It is typically done when a vaginal birth is not possible or safe for the mother or the baby. There are various reasons why a C-section may be necessary, including complications during pregnancy, concerns about the baby's health, or prior medical conditions of the mother. Now, let's walk through the different steps involved in a C-section. Keep in mind that each case may vary, and the details will be determined by the healthcare team. Step 1. Anesthesia. Before the surgery begins, the mother will receive either general anesthesia or regional anesthesia, such as an epidural or spinal block, to numb the lower part of her body while remaining awake. Step 2. Incision. Once the anesthesia takes effect, the surgeon will make an incision in the lower abdomen, usually horizontally along the bikini line. This incision allows access to the uterus. Step 3. Uterine incision. The surgeon will carefully make an incision in the uterus, usually in a horizontal or vertical fashion, depending on the circumstances. This incision allows the safe delivery of the baby. Step 4. Delivery of the baby. The healthcare team will skillfully and gently lift the baby out of the uterus. They will ensure the baby's airway is clear and start immediate medical care if needed. Step 5. Placenta removal and closure. After the baby is delivered, the surgeon will remove the placenta and inspect the uterus for any abnormalities. The incisions in the uterus and abdomen will then be carefully closed using stitches or staples. Step 6. Recovery. The mother will be taken to a recovery room where she can rest and be monitored. The length of the hospital stay may vary depending on the individual circumstances. It's important to note that a C-section is a major surgical procedure and, like any surgery, carries risks and potential complications. It typically takes longer to recover from a C-section compared to a vaginal birth. However, thanks to advancements in medical technology and expertise, C-sections are now safer than ever before. That wraps up our video on C-sections. I hope you found it informative and helpful. If you have any questions or would like us to cover any other childbirth-related topics, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel.